A, and everything's going to be okay. Today, the 1.63 patch to No Man's Sky has landed, and it's a pretty big update. I will be going over the patch notes and demonstrating all that I can. So we have a new exocraft called the Pilgrim. I'm going to go ahead and build the geo bay for it and check it out. Here we go, Pilgrim Geo Bay. So as you can see, it is a motorcycle looking exocraft. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, well, let's just get in it and see what it's like. I've never tried it before. Interesting. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, nice. That is fun. It's a lot different than the Nomad. It feels a lot more real. It's not just hovering above the ground. It's like it has the whole slide and everything. What's it called? Drift. That's it. Cool. So we'll try out that more in a little bit. I'm going to show some other stuff. So we've got the Exocraft Summoning Station. Now what this does, I'll go ahead and build it from what I can understand is once you build this on a planet you can summon any of your exocraft no matter where you are let me try and see huh. okay so I don't have any other any of the other geobase built so it's not letting me summon them so I guess you have to have the geobase built, geo built also so let's test this out. I'm going to delete that one because I don't have the materials to buy, build another one without deleting it. Uh, and I will build... I want to check out the Colossus. Another new thing is that the Colossus has finally gotten a speed boost. So hopefully it won't be as horribly bad <laughs> as it used to be. What's this? It's got a different... Ah, modification. Okay, yeah, let's try this out too. So not only... Okay, so another new thing is you can also modify it. Well, let's check out the speed of the Colossus. Ooh. Yep, that is quite a bit faster. Nice. Weird, I don't have the acceleration installed at all? Oh, no, don't tell me it doesn't even... Oh, there it is. Okay, so I just need to get some carbon nanotubes to be able to do a speed boost. Thought I had that installed, but maybe it got taken out. So a couple of the tech has become obsolete now. I'll show you why in a minute. But anyway, now it's got a speed boost. Cool. Yeah, that's a lot faster. And we be re I'm really excited to try out upgrading the Colossus to make it like a tank because as I'll show you in a minute we've got all new upgrade modules for all of the Exocraft as well so this update is kinda like the second coming of the Pathfinder update all of the Exocraft have been changed to have more inventory space and new upgrade modules and such and of course we have a totally new type of exocraft so that's really cool um, I'm going to show you in here oh another fix that they did was you can finally buy the race initiator so new new saves that were made after next can finally get the race initiator so I'm gonna buy that and the two things I just built the pilgrim geo bay and the um, exocraft summoning station um, all were bought from here as well I bought them ahead of time to make sure I could build them but I just got the race initiator as well let me take a look at that I haven't had the race initiator since the update 
Is that in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably work on making my first race since next in um, my live streams this weekend. But, okay, so another new thing is the Exocraft NPC that you originally get them from is now, once you finish his missions, he, he will tr he will trade with you, hopefully, after he shows me his garbage <laughs> multi-tool. He should... Oh, wait a second, this is the wrong guy. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> Sorry. That is the armorer. This is the Viking. Ah, uh, no, 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 I want to purchase Exocraft upgrades. Here we go. Cool, so he's got Cyclotron modules, a moderate upgrade to the Cyclotron Ballista. What? No, oh no, I just found a bug. These are all called Cyclotron. They're not supposed to say that. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if these are actually Exocraft upgrades. They're not supposed to be... They're not supposed to be Cyclotron Ballista upgrades. Okay, so we found a bug. The wrong name is in the Exocraft, Exocraft modules. They're all called Cyclotron, which is a... Um, ship weapon type, but let's see if we install it. Copper plating. Hmm. Let's see if this works in here. What is this? A moderate upgrade to the Exocraft mounted cannon. Okay, good. Upgrades the Exocraft mounted cannon, improving rate of fire to weapon power. But the problem is, they all look exactly the same and they have the same name. So some of them should be speed speed upgrades and weapon upgrades and such but there's no way for me to tell what they are so we've got a bad bug here with the guy that sells the upgrades because we can't see what they are they're all just called cyclotron and they say it's for the cyclotron ballista so we don't know <laughs> so we don't know right now what these actually are before we buy them. So a workaround is going to have to be people figure out which which upgrades in which position do what so that we know what they are before we buy them. And eventually I'm sure Hello Games will fix the names so we actually know what they are. But anyway, so let me see what else Base be the Colossus Oh yeah, customize their appearance. Let's do that. I'm going to customize the bike. Delete this again. And build the Geo Bay for this one. All right, let's up let's customize the appearance of the bike. Okay, so paint, do my channel colors, blue and purple, uh, I think I'll switch them, yeah, because I like dominant blue and a little bit of purple, and the cockpit decals, okay, so it had a deck geck decal, now it's nothing, number one, two, three, That's weird. I can't put the Gek decal back on. There was a Gek decal on before. Huh. That's weird that I can't reapply the Gek one. Well, I don't think I don't think I want a decal right now. But that's weird that I can't put it back on the Gek one. Oh man, I undid all my color left side pod 
Oh, there it is. Cool. So, wait. The number... Okay. We don't even know what these symbols mean, but they're new decals that we've gotten. I'm just going to do no decals for now. Yeah. No decals for me. Spoiler. Cool. So basically what this is is allowing you to color and mark your exocraft so that when people have races together they can tell each other's exocraft apart, which is really good. We really needed that. So now the exocraft the uh, the race initiator is fixed. Well, another thing is it, it's fixed in multiplayer supposedly so that we can actually do other players races when we visit their base that was bugged before which I showed in some of my videos but hopefully it's fixed now <laughs> uh, but we'll see so booster so you can change the color of your boost color ooh why does purple look red that's interesting whoa what why does it look like really yellow if I picked blue and purple? Okay, now they just all look yellow. Hmm, that might be bugged because it doesn't seem to be changing the color really. Okay, whatever. We'll go with that. So anyways, it's pretty pretty awesome I can customize my exocraft to be the color of my exosuit now. I like it a lot. Awesome. So I will be over the weekend, like I said, live streaming and working on upgrading all of my exocraft so they have good modules inside them. Hopefully I won't have too much problem with getting the correct ones since the names are bugged. Um, the patch note said that there's also a speedometer now when you are in your exocraft, but I don't see that. So that change may be bugged as well because I don't see any kind of speedometer on my user interface. And then... Uh, Exocraft can now mine big rocks and terrain resources. So before, since it requires advanced... Ah, there's also a bug with getting out of your Exocraft. Sometimes it puts you back in. So these big rocks that require advanced mining laser um, couldn't be mined with the Exocraft, but now they can. And also terrain resources on the ground like copper can now be mined with the Exocraft mining laser. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, visualing, visuals when scanning have changed so that you can see the color. As you see, it kind of makes a bright color when you scan it. Let's see if I can find something. I, don't, I think I've scanned everything on this planet, so I can't show you what it looks like when you're scanning. It does look cooler that it kind of shows you the color of the object or more brightly when you scan it. Because everything's green when you scan, but it lets you see the color of it for a second when you're scanning. Um, and another really cool fix, which I'm not going to demonstrate because I can't right now because it's multiplayer related, but we can finally land on other players' frigates. So in the next trailer, it had a part where it showed a couple players standing on a frigate. At the time, we didn't know what it was when we saw the trailer. We didn't know what frigates were. Um, and we didn't even know that the Gek in the video was another player. But we now know that it was two players on a frigate together. But that actually wasn't something that was possible. It wasn't possible for two players to be on a frigate together because they couldn't land on each other's frigates. But now they fixed it so that you can land on another player's frigate. Next and last of all is starships 
are now placed on your landing pad. Okay, so as you can see, my ship is on my landing pad, but um, when I come here by teleporter, it puts my ship there. Only problem that I've found, though, is that it's off-center. As you can see, my ship is kind of way po poking out here, and I actually had to move my landing pad because my ship was stuck in this door, so I couldn't get out of my base that way. So, there's definitely some issues with that, but it's this is a very welcome change. People always complained, well, I've got a landing pad on my base, why doesn't it put my ship on the landing pad when I come here by teleporter? People have complained about that ever since the foundation update when landing pads were added because landing pads seemed almost pointless because your ship wouldn't be on the landing pad. But now, when you come here by teleporter, your ship will be on the landing pad. But it is a bit off-center, but it's not that big a deal. So that is about it. Uh, well, there's actually a whole bunch more other changes in this update, uh, bug fixes and tweaks. I will link in the pinned comment the website uh, where you can see all of the patch notes, but I did some of the biggest gameplay changes. Um, and like I said, I will be live streaming this weekend as I upgrade and explore with the new Exocraft and the other Exocraft. So, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.